irreducible polynomial irreducible irreducible polynomial a polynomial is said to be is said to be irreducible 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 if it cannot be it cannot be it cannot be expressed as a product of product of two polynomials two polynomials g of x and h of x that means any polynomial which cannot be written as a product of other two polynomials then that polynomial is known as irreducible polynomial so could we give any simple definition for this one so why not we can give it so that means if any polynomial cannot be split into two or more polynomials then that is called irreducible polynomial example you take a linear polynomial 2x plus 3 can you write as a product of two functions this one let us check it so do we have any solution for this one can you find out no so that's why the a linear polynomial is always irreducible polynomial it's very simple so a linear polynomial is always irreducible polynomial since it cannot be written as the product of two polynomials and let us take one more example x square plus x plus 1 can it be possible because it is a quadratic expression if you find out its discriminant what will happen you see b square minus 4ac discriminant here that is 1 minus 4 so minus 3 less than 0 so it cannot be split into further so these two are act example for irreducible factors next let us move to the example for so our chapter is partial fractions so let us have the definition of the partial fractions partial fractions partial fractions see already we discussed very clearly sum of two or more proper fractions is also a proper fraction conversely a proper fraction can be written as a sum of a two or more proper fractions then each proper fraction is called partial fraction let us write the definition if a proper fraction proper fraction is expressed or written 
expressed as the sum of two or more proper fractions proper fractions proper fractions then each proper fraction proper fraction proper fraction is called is called a partial fraction partial fraction let us take one example once again example 1 by x plus 3 plus 1 by x plus 4 let us add these two so now x plus 3 into x plus 4 x plus 4 plus x plus 3 so this is adding these two 2x plus 7 by x square plus 7x plus 2 this is a proper fraction now we write 2x plus 3 by x square plus 7x plus 12 equal to 1 by x plus 3 plus 1 by x plus 4. Now, what do you observe these two now? This x plus 3 is a linear factor, this is an irreducible factor. This x plus 4 is also irreducible factor, further they cannot be split into two or more. That is why 1 by x plus 3 is a proper fraction, proper fraction. This proper fraction is expressed as a sum of two proper fractions. That is why this is called partial fraction, this is also called partial fractions. Therefore, 1 by x plus 3 comma 1 by x plus 4 are called partial fractions of 2x plus 3 by x square plus 7x plus 2 but here in this case as we added these two we got this 2x plus 7 by x square plus 7x plus 2 that means here 7 actually 7 2x plus 7 by x square plus 7x plus 2 but if it is given directly 2x plus 7 by x square plus 7x plus 2 well, is there any method to find out the partial fractions. So, let us have a discussion on that one. Unless we have the discussion, how can we find out the partial fractions? So, that means some strategy has to be followed or some methods are to be followed. So, let us have the methods of the finding the partial fractions.